Tesla has officially announced the all new 2024 Model 3 and Model Y. And good news is that yes, these cars exist, they're here and they're pretty awesome. But the bad news is that the models you want with the fancy features and performance upgrades, those have been delayed a bit and won't be here probably until later next year or 2025. Plus, we've got some all new info on Tesla's massive holiday update coming really soon now. Tesla is bringing back some big discounts and some freebies for all owners for a very limited amount of time. And we've got some last minute leaks on the Cybertruck before it becomes official in two weeks. And a huge thanks to T-Parts for sponsoring this video. Stay tuned to learn more about some of my absolute all-time favorite Tesla accessories. So this video is gonna have some good news and some bad news sort of mixed into everything here because there's a lot of exciting stuff to get into, but also some bad stuff you need to know about. Starting first with pricing. If you're thinking about buying a Tesla, you might wanna do it sooner than later because Tesla has some new incentives going on right now and also prices are about to change. Prices are going to go up if they haven't already gone up by the time you're watching this video. We have seen Tesla begin to make some small incremental price adjustments every couple of days over the last several weeks, and it looks like prices are going to begin trending back in the opposite direction from what you want, going to go back up instead of going down. This seems to be especially true for the all new Model 3. If you're in the United States, we know that the new Model 3, the upgraded Model 3, should be coming sometime over the next couple of months, and it looks like Tesla is going to launch this car Definitely not cheaper, but probably more expensive than the current Model 3 we've got right now. So again, keep in mind that if you're waiting for this new Model 3, which you probably should, pricing is likely not gonna be as good as it is today. And speaking of pricing right now, for a very limited amount of time, like the next month or so, Tesla has some pretty aggressive end of year incentives to try to get people into new Model 3s, Model Ys, and even higher end Model S's and X's as well, to really clear out their inventory to start fresh and new with all the new 2024 models. If you've got an older Tesla with unlimited supercharging, Tesla's now offering you for a very limited time just before the end of the year, the ability to transfer that unlimited free supercharging from an older Tesla to a newer Tesla if you take delivery by the end of the quarter. And for those looking to buy a new Tesla, a Model 3 or Model Y, if you buy right now through someone's referral code, like mine if you wanted to, link down below, you can get, get this as a good deal, six months of free supercharging. Let me say that again because people are gonna love this. Six months of free supercharging if you take delivery through a referral code, you've gotta uh, click that referral code down below, and you also have to take delivery before the end of the year. So by December 31st, you've gotta take delivery. And that is also in addition to three months of free full self-driving as well with a Model 3 or Model Y. So if you get a new Model 3 or Model Y right now, just to recap, Three months of FSD for free, plus six months of free supercharging if you use a referral code like mine linked down below. But like I said, with the good news comes some bad news. And one of the bad pieces of news we've gotten over the last couple of days is that Tesla has now removed all monetary discounts from their referral program. Those are gone. A few months ago, you could save as high as $1,000 off a Model S or a Model X. It recently was cut all the way down to $250. But now that monetary benefit that discount is gone. So how the referral program works now is that if you go with a Model 3 or Model Y, you're gonna get three months of full self-driving for free plus six months of supercharging. And if you go Model S or Model X, you just get the three months of full self-driving. But while the referral discounts are now gone, the inventory discounts have resumed where you can save thousands of dollars off a brand new Model 3 or Model Y that is ready to go, ready to be delivered in a matter of days, sitting in Tesla's existing inventory. I saw a couple of posts uh, over the last few days on X where people are saying that those discounts are back. Uh, people are saving about $2,000 off the Model 3. And especially it seems like as of right now, Tesla is trying to uh, liquidate their current Model 3 inventory. So they're offering some pretty good discounts. So definitely now is the time. If you want a Model 3 and you don't want the stock list design and uh, you like the current offering right now, uh, not only are you getting the federal tax credit, uh, you're getting any state or local incentives, uh, you're getting all the supercharging, the free full self-driving for three months, and also a couple thousand dollars discount if you go in Tesla's existing inventory. So now is a pretty good time to buy a Model 3 if you don't want the new one. All right, next up, I wanna talk about some pretty exciting updates coming to your Tesla very soon. Some coming next month that are gonna be huge and also a surprising pretty big update that just came out like right now. Over the last couple of hours, this thing just started rolling out with some surprise new features that owners have been asking for for years, literally years 
They're finally coming. There's an update now rolling out to Tesla's with a couple of nice features built in. One is for the back rear screen to get independent audio streaming. So since the Model 3 has released with the rear screen in the back for back passengers, Cybertruck is gonna have a rear screen. Obviously Model S and Model X have that rear screen. One of the big benefits is that people can sit in the back and watch their own content through Tesla Theater, which is great. But um, up until now, you haven't been able to separate that audio. So if someone's watching the movie in the back, everybody in the car, including the driver and passenger up front, have to hear that audio. It seemed like it was a missing feature to not have the ability to have headphones in the back, but now that has finally come. Tesla in their latest update is now allowing you to pair rear Bluetooth headphones through the car system to basically play that audio in the back two Bluetooth headphones for back passengers and have an independent audio stream for front passengers. So you can listen to your music, Spotify, navigation, even just sit in silence. This update's also bringing some new features to superchargers as well. There's now a new forecast availability and wait time feature that's gonna factor in travel time for you. And also it's gonna show you other Tesla vehicles in route to the supercharger you're going to, which is cool. Basically, Tesla is using more of their information from supercharging networks and different vehicles that sort of all work together so your car is better preconditioned when you get there. You know how long the wait time is going to be. And you also know other Teslas currently in route to that supercharging station as well. Little uh, cool feature there that sort of shows how awesome it is to have this vertical integration between all of Tesla's various products and sectors. This update also brings an easier way and a more simple way to activate autopilot. Instead of the double pull down on the stock for Model 3 and Model Y, you now have the ability to do a single pull down instead of going into traffic where cruise control, that's gonna activate autopilot automatically. We've also got a little bit more info on Tesla's big holiday update. This is Tesla's biggest update of the year. Usually around this time towards the end of the year, Tesla releases their biggest update for the year. It's got new features, it's got new apps, it's got design changes. Last year's was jam packed with a lot of new stuff. And this year, as Tesla is actively working on it right now, in the next month, we should be getting this big holiday update. And we've got a couple of leaks and clues and rumors on what we should be expecting. And whether you decide to take advantage of those pretty good end of year incentives and buy a new Tesla, or you're looking to upgrade the Tesla you've got in your garage right now, I have got your one place to go for the best Tesla accessories. They're built really well, super high quality. They're gonna work amazing and really elevate your Tesla to a whole new level. The one place to go, your one-stop shop for my favorite Tesla accessories, of course, is going to be T-Parts. And I've showed you a couple of T-Parts accessories in previous videos, and I've got a couple of new accessories in this video to show off as well that you're going to love, particularly in their carbon fiber lineup. On the inside, I've got the T-Parts carbon fiber cover for the center console area here that I love for a couple of big reasons. One is that I feel like it just sort of looks nicer than the stock material. It's going to elevate the inside of your Tesla, make it feel and look a little bit more sporty. And also, let me be clear that if this looks like the real deal carbon fiber, that's because this is the real deal carbon fiber. It looks amazing. It's going to cover up dust and fingerprints super easily, it's going to look really clean, and it's going to be perfect for the inside of your Model 3 or Model Y. And not only do I love the look inside of my Tesla, but I also like that I can bring it to the outside of my Tesla as well. For the Model 3 or Model Y, again, T-Parts has got the real deal carbon fiber uh, mirror covers here that are lightweight. They're going to add a super sleek look to your Tesla. Install here is super easy, just like the center console cover. It's got some built-in adhesive. You can install this in like 60 seconds. And that's really the theme of T-Parts accessories. They offer an incredible variety of really well-designed, extremely well-made accessories here to really enhance your Tesla experience and take it to a whole new level. They've got everything you're going to want for your car. And in my experience, after testing a lot of different accessories, these are some of the best designed and best made products on the market. So if you want to learn more, check them out for yourself today. Hit the link down below. And also you can use the code ROBERT10 to get 10% off your order at T-Parts. Again, the code is ROBERT10 for 10% off. Check out these amazing carbon fiber accessories and everything else that T-Parts has to offer because again, they've got everything on their website you're gonna love. Check it out and learn more for yourself today. The link right down below in the description. As I've mentioned previously, Tesla is actively working to bring Dolby Atmos support to your Tesla, so a more immersive, higher fidelity audio system in your vehicle. Also, Tesla is actively working to bring AirPlay to your vehicle as well, and it looks like you should be able to AirPlay either audio or video from your iPhone to the main screen in your Tesla. So if you wanted to listen to music from an app while you drive, you could AirPlay instead of uh, using Bluetooth, which I think can, in theory, give you a higher quality audio stream. And then maybe when you're parked, if you wanted to watch an app that is 
doesn't have like a Tesla feed or equivalent, you can just airplay the video from your phone, your iPad or your Mac to uh, the screen inside your Tesla and watch it on the big screen with that surround sound experience. That should be super cool. And we've seen a lot of evidence to suggest that should be coming soon. It's in like sort of the final stage of testing. If you're a Waze fan out there, I've got some good news. And that is that it might be in this holiday update that Tesla releases their own sort of Waze version or Waze competitor. We know that Tesla's actively work together to sort of share information between cars, but we've also heard recently Tesla might be working on a bit more of a specific sort of Waze approach to crowdsource different road conditions or objects or roadblocks or things of that nature between cars more in real time. It's one of the big advantages of Waze is you can see sort of a police or medical personnel or accidents or whatever sort of in real time from all Waze users. And because Teslas have, well, what? Is it hundreds of thousands, millions of Teslas on the road, all actively working together and they can communicate and they're all on sort of this special software. Um, they might be able to sort of harness that power to bring their own ways like routing into Tesla's mapping. So Tesla mapping could be faster, it could be more accurate, and it would be able to use data from different Teslas and the cameras from those Teslas specifically to find out if there's any issues on the road, if there's traffic, if there's objects on the road, maybe even police prediction as well uh, from Teslas. This seems like it could be a really big deal and a big answer to many of those who really want ways on their Tesla. This could be a nice alternative and could be coming pretty soon in like a month with this major holiday update. We also could potentially be getting some new UI changes as well as the Cybertruck continues to show off what Tesla is changing, at least with that vehicle, on the user interface front. And Tesla usually keeps a pretty standard user interface between all their vehicles. And if uh, that is to sort of be the case moving forward, Cybertruck could show us some pretty interesting changes to Tesla's UI. One of the big changes is this really accurate, large 3D model of the vehicle. This is something we have not seen in Tesla's previously. That would be super cool and uh, would sort of show up on the left side of your screen. And also Tesla may move the app icon dock bar that's in the bottom of the screen uh, over to the left side, or maybe they'll give you the option to have it either, either in the bottom or the left side of the screen. That actually save a lot of nice uh, screen real estate on the bottom of uh, the screen. I feel like having it over to the left is easier for you to tap uh, as you're in the driver's position and also sort of better uh, makes use of the screen real estate on that screen. So that could be super cool to see as well. All right, moving on from that, next up, I've got some new updates on the all new upgraded Model 3 and also the upgraded Model Y. Someone snapped the photo a few days ago of the new upgraded Model 3 here in the US, but this model in particular was built at Fremont in California, suggesting that the new Model 3s may have begun at least a limited production here in the US, preparing for a United States and wider North American launch sometime over the next couple of months. Fremont is currently the only US factory making Model 3s as of right now, and we also believe that they're finalizing the new performance model as well at that factory. We've seen that driving around uh, the United States, specifically the California uh, Bay Area over the last couple of weeks, as this car is expected to be going into final testing right now. As a reminder, it's supposed to have the upgraded interior that's a little bit more sporty. It's going to have that new dash. It's going to have those new sportier performance seats, and also potentially a ludicrous badge on the outside to reveal it's the stellar performance model, potentially with a plaid powertrain in the vehicle as well, or at least one plaid motor in this new high-end souped up Model 3 performance. Also a little bit of an interesting update on the Model Y. As I said in my previous videos on sort of Tesla's plans for 2024, um, the Model Y isn't set to be getting a lot of big upgrades over the next 12 months. If you want the new exciting Teslas, that's going to be Cybertruck, that's going to be the new Model 3. Even Model S and Model X are going to be getting bigger upgrades than the Model Y, even though the Model Y is Tesla's best-selling car. And that is likely because Tesla is preparing for this bigger Project Juniper huge upgrade for Model Y but it's not gonna be ready until likely the very end of 2024 or early 2025. So as great as the Model Y is, you better love what it offers right now because it's likely not going to change with a couple of small exceptions that could be some surprises we see next year. One is potentially some new colors. We know Tesla is currently testing a couple of new colors for Model Y specifically 
at Giga Texas, so some new colors on the Model Y would be nice. And also a new upgraded Model Y that we've got in China. This one has uh, black covers on the Gemini wheels on the exterior. On the inside, it's got a new dashboard material. It's got an LED RGB ambient lighting strip built in there. It doesn't go all the way around the interior like the new Model 3 and Cybertruck, but at least it's in there. And this is sort of a nice stopgap update between the current Model Y we've got and then also the bigger Project Juniper upgrade coming sometime in the next 12 to 18 months. Now, this next story is very controversial. One of the most controversial stories we've had on this channel in a while, and that is that Tesla is warning customers of something they could do that would get them blacklisted and banned from ever buying a Tesla. Again, Tesla would refuse you as a customer. They would refuse your money if you broke this rule. An updated Tesla order agreement surfaced online over the last couple of days and has a special new clause in there for Cybertruck delivery, stating that anyone who takes delivery of a low VIN or early VIN Cybertruck will not be allowed, will not be allowed, let me say that again, to sell the vehicle within the first year without explicit permission from Tesla. And if you do wish for whatever reason to sell your Cybertruck, you have to first sell it back to Tesla within the first 12 months and they have the first right of refusal to sort of buy it out and there's different calculations on what they'll offer based off of mileage and wear and tear and stuff like that. Basically, if you want to sell your Cybertruck within the first year, you've got to go through Tesla first and either they'll buy it back or they'll give you special permission to allow you to sell it to somebody else. And if you were to breach this agreement, Tesla is very clear that selling the truck without their explicit permission, including trying to flip the car and get some more money for it, especially if you get an early Cybertruck reservation, um, means that they'll sue you. They could sue you for up to $50,000 or the price profits of your flip. Uh, it really done here to discourage anyone from trying to make what they would assume to be easy cash by flipping one of these early low VIN cyber trucks to somebody on the second tier market looking to pay big bucks for one of these early trucks. And I should note that this clause has since been removed from the Tesla order agreement over the last couple of days, but many agree or at least speculate right now that either Tesla is sort of going to keep this in place, but they're revising it to sort of maybe reword the language a bit, or what is also more likely is that they're going to move this just to a special Cybertruck only order agreement. So when you go to get your Cybertruck, you're going to go through the special order agreement that's going to have this clause in place to really try to deter anyone from flipping this vehicle. So if you go through with a Cybertruck purchase, you've got to make sure you want this. And if you want to sell it, you got to give it back to Tesla. No way to go through a third party or try to sell it to your friend or family member and try to make a quick buck. Not going to happen. So I'm curious, what are your guys' thoughts on all of this? Your thoughts on the news for the week? Your thoughts on Tesla's new special Cybertruck clause? Your thoughts on updates for 2024? Your thoughts on software updates? Let me know down below. Also, I want to give a big thanks to everyone who subscribed to my new, uh, newsletter. If I can speak here, excuse me. I see all your comments. I appreciate it so much. It has been, the support has been overwhelming. Thank you all so much. And if you didn't know, yes, I've got my Tesla News uh, weekly newsletter. It's free. Delivers Tesla News to your inbox every single month. If you uh, want to sign up, it's free. It's teslanewsweekly.com. If you sign up for the newsletter, please let me know in a comment down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing some giveaways. I got uh, some cool giveaways I just did in some previous videos and more are coming. So be sure to subscribe. Big thanks to Get a Drive Protected for making this all possible. And also a big thanks to our charging partner on the channel, Autel. Their special Christmas edition Maxi Charger AC Lite that is a perfect level two charger. Beautiful design. Works with RFID cards if you want to restrict access and just give those cards out for charging. They've got uh, the speed built in you need to recharge your vehicle very quickly. And again, a full featured mobile app, great design here. So much you can do with this. If you want to check that out for yourself, I'll leave a link down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and your support. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I'll see you all in the next one.